we want to prove that x squared plus x is even for all integers x. So the way we're going to do this is something called a proof by exhaustion. So that's where we consider all possible cases and show that in each case the statement we're trying to prove is true. Um, so that doesn't mean going through every single integer because uh, that's impossible. Uh, the set of integers is an infinite set. Instead what we're going to do is break up the integers into two different sets and then in each of those cases we're going to show that x squared plus x is even. So what are these two cases we're going to split ourselves up into? Well the first case that we're going to take is the case that x is even. If x is even then we can write x is equal to 2k um, for some integer k. So if we can do this then x squared plus x becomes 2k squared plus 2k um, which is equal to 4k squared plus 2k and we can factor out 2 here to get 2 2k squared plus k this is just some integer so this is an even number so we're done in case 1 so case 1 if if x is even then we have that x squared plus x is even so case 2 we're going to look at when x is odd so that would mean that x is equal to 2k plus 1 uh, for some k and z and we'll run through the same calculation so we're going to get x squared plus x and that's 2k plus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 and with a bit of algebra we'll look to show that this is even so this is 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 plus 2k plus 1 we can collect some terms we're going to get 4k squared plus 6k plus 2 again we can factor out 2 we get 2 2k squared plus 3k plus 1 and this again is an integer we've got 2 multiplied by an integer so this is an even number so all x in the integers they must either be even or odd and we've shown that in either case we have that x squared plus x is even 